Certainly, Rene, um, and again, it is disgusting um, on the part of those police officers who are responsible for um, disclosing that statement to the public. Um, it is not a statement for public consumption. It, it cannot be that we, we live in a society where the general public goes to the police and make complaints, and then they, they see the statements um, that they have given to the police on social media platform thus minutes after they gave that statement it is it is rather disgusting and it it is something that is certainly hindering us from um getting the support that we need to get from the public because it's a egregious breach of trust and confidence and so i i personally wish that i can know exactly who or which police officer um, or officers are behind the leakage of that statement to the public? And believe you me, if I can find out who they are, they, they, they would not. They, they cannot be a police officer anymore. Um, they certainly have lost it. So again, the public or the media must also have some degree of responsibility in ensuring that even though you forget this thing a leak from the police, you should know it is not something for public consumption. Yes, I understand that the media do love to get things that are that are very juicy, but. Come on, man, there must be some responsibility. We do have, we do have mechanisms, but the issue is for us to be able to, to know um, exactly who released it. I have given certain instructions to um, PSB in terms of what they can do to find out who did it, and uh, that process is ongoing. So I'm hoping that very soon we'll be able to know exactly who leaked the, the statement.